friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a myopic eye with coloboma iris and coloboma choroid preoperative refractive error is minus 22 diopter of spherical error and minus 6 diopter of cylindrical error but the difference between k readings is only 1.5 diopter so it was lenticular astigmatism there is very mild cataract almost clear lens the patient is above 45 years of age and very poor vision so we planned fecal emulsification with intraocular lens implantation the main incision has been placed on the sclera just behind the limbus and now the anti chamber has been filled up with visco and i'm trying to get a capsular tag by the needle and see so weak jonule and there is two clock hours of jonular defect from from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock and my plan is to use a capsular tension ring before i start aspirating the cortex aspirating the lens matter i'm trying to hold the capsular tag it's becoming difficult and i could hold uh, the tag here and i had to go clockwise and going clockwise we have to be very careful at this time and the size of the rexis should not be more than 4.75 mm and it is that the size of the rexis is about 4.75 mm because if it goes to periphery it will not be able to hold the capsular tension ring and this is a iris spatula i'm trying to separate the capsule from the cortex uh, without doing hydro but we can go only up to the equator with this and i was not sure whether i am above the capsule or under the capsule and now i do hydro dissection and i get a very good fluid wave and now my plan is to use a capsular tension ring uh, before going into the anterior chamber with the feco needle and this is the ctr capsular tension ring i had to struggle to place the ctr in the capsular bag one end of the ctr is introduced into the anterior chamber before that some visco and the ctr doesn't go into the bag so what to do now i take a sinski hook in my left hand and i take one end into the equator but see what happens the ctr is not getting released so we have to go above the ctr press it press the capsular tension ring and then introduce it from the other side and it goes into the capsular bag now the trailing end of the capsular tension ring 
is placed using the left hand instrument and it goes into the capsula bag. Some more visco and now is the time to introduce the FECO needle. In this case, very little ultrasonic energy, maybe 10% ultrasonic energy was used intermittently and the whole nuclear mass, lens matter, came within few seconds. And now, some visco. Now, with the CTR in place, it is difficult to remove the cortex, particularly from the area where there is genular defect. I could make out that, form the AC, come out, inject visco again to fill up the anterior chamber and my plan is to make a side port at 7 o'clock and through this side port I am going to remove the cortex from the upper part where the genule is strong. Go to 1 o'clock and I could remove the cortex easily. Go to 12 o'clock and then 11 o'clock. So the cortex from the upper part is coming quite easily. Nice. And now I go through the left side board some more visco before that and remove the cortex from 7 o'clock here I see the this is the on end of the CTR it's going to be tough to remove this cortex. Since the CTR is giving some counter force, it is becoming possible to remove the cortex and it came out. And now I see that there is a gap in the defect. The CTR on end has come towards 5 o'clock. So I want to cover this defect. So I go with the Sinsky hook and rotate the CTR and cover the defect. Let's go again. And now I am going to enlarge the main wound little bit by 0 0.1 millimeter. The main wound which was 2.8 is now 2.9 millimeter. And now the lens is loaded. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. And the lens goes in the capsular bag. Now my plan is to place on haptic in the area of genular defect so that this part of the bag this equatorial part of the capsular bag gets more support.
Now go behind the intraocular lens and remove the visco from behind the lens. The space between the lens and the capsule, posterior capsule, should be free from viscoelastic substance. And now I take the uh, bimanual irrigation aspiration to remove all the coat, all the viscoelastic substance. Do irrigation and aspiration for some time and when I am quite sure that most of the viscoelastic substance, almost all viscoelastic substance has been removed, I stop irrigation and aspiration. This is moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma. Now here, uh, this is the final lavage. I have post-operative pictures, please wait for a few seconds. Post-op pictures after 24 hours. See the post-op pictures, cornea is clear, antichamber is quiet and the postoperative refraction is minus two cylindrical uh, adapter cylindrical error and the unaided vision is six by 36. Patient is very happy. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in managing such cases. Be a great surgeon and solve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.